I don't know about you, but this pandemic is starting to drive me nuts. I can tell you, it's affecting my sobriety. It's making me feel a little down, a little sad. The other day, some guy snitched on me for not wearing a mask at work. It was like, come on, man. I, I was talking on the telephone. The guy phoned my section header, my boss, and told them that I wasn't wearing a mask. It affected me. That's how crazy it is. People are getting afraid. They're getting fed up. They're getting angry. They're feeling depressed. When the hell will this end, you know? It's ridiculous, it really is. I just hope they find a vaccination and everything can go back to normal. I really do. I, I hope that for everybody in the whole wide world in the next six or seven months, because this is driving me nuts and it's affecting my sobriety a lot because I'm not having that interaction that I used to have. You know, I used to go to two to three meetings a week, two to three face-to-face -face meetings a week. Now I go to one meeting a week that's face-to-face. And I go to these Zoom meetings, which, are, which is a great substitute. I'm very grateful for them, but they just they just don't do it for me all the time. I don't know what it is. It's probably the you know the absentee of the the, the body language or the face-to-face -face stuff, and just get more out of the meetings when I'm when I'm there present in the meeting in the meeting room. What I want to talk about today, I want to talk about how many meetings are enough for your sobriety, for you to maintain your sobriety. I'll just tell you a little about myself. When I first came into 12-step programs over 20 years ago, I tried to go to meetings every day. Alcoholism, active alcoholism, when I was out there, I was drinking every day, all the time, for most days, seven days a week. So when I quit drinking, I had a lot of time to fill in my life. I really did. There was a lot of downtime because I spent a lot of time drinking. People in programs were telling me to go to 90 meetings in 90 days. And one of the main reasons they tell you that is because, because you're bored, you probably drank a lot, you drank all the time like me, so they're filling your time, but also it helps you get involved with the program that you're involved with or trying to get involved with. It also starts to ingrain patterns into your life, healthy, positive patterns into your life. So if you can do 90 meetings in 90 days, that's terrific. I did about probably 45 meetings in 90 days because I had a lot of responsibilities. I had children, I had court dates, I had work things I had to do, find an apartment, all those sort of things that I had to do that I know sobriety is supposed to be priority, but I really had to get things done. I was basically living on the street when I came into 12 step program. So I needed to you know, take responsibility for some basic living needs. I really did. So I went to about 45 to 50 meetings in the first number of months in my sobriety. And that helped a lot. On my days off, I went to two or three. During the week, I tried to get to at least one a day. I really did. If not, I talked to my sponsor or I talked to somebody in the program. So at the beginning, when the heat was on and life was much different than it is now, I found going to more meetings and staying engaged in the program a lot was very, very helpful for me. Generally now, I go to about two or three meetings a week. I go to one face-to-face -face meeting, my home group here in Ottawa, and I go to two to three Zoom meetings. Zoom meetings are really easy because you don't have to leave your house. You can have a coffee and sit there and have a great meeting over the internet. But I do something every day for my sobriety. And what mostly I do, I pray, meditate, I try and work my steps, but I talk to a recovering alcoholic, a light-minded person in the program each and every day. My life is surrounded by program people. It really is. But my nowadays life is a lot better than it was when I first came into sobriety. So two to three meetings do me fine. They really do. They keep me well, well connected and my, uh, I, feel, I feel enriched from my program. But when life gets bad, like when there's something going on in my life, like I'm very stressed out, I feel angry, I feel depressed, or things aren't working out, I feel some fear in that, I'll up my meetings. I'll go to a meeting every day in my, in my sobriety. Every day of my life, I'll go to a meeting till I get over that situation. So how many meetings are the correct amount of meetings? Well, there's no, quite, there's no real answer to it. But the reality of it is we need to stay connected. Some people, get sobriety, they get the family, they get the girlfriend, they get the good job, and they stop going to meetings. And that is definitely a no-no. I go to meetings even when I don't want to go to meetings. I go to meetings even when I feel good and life is going great. I still continue to go to meetings because meetings 
are the life uh, the lifeblood of my sobriety. That connection to my 12-step program is my medicine. No different than having diabetes and having insulin a in, uh, shot of insulin each day. If I do not maintain my program, I cannot maintain my sobriety. My spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional well-being all comes from working a 12-step program. So that's why I continue to go. I have lots of sobriety. People may say to me, and people have said to me, why do you continue to go to those meetings? And the reason I go, because I need those meetings to cope with the world around me and to cope with myself. Because let me tell you something, sometimes I can be very difficult to live with, I can be very difficult and hard on myself. So those meetings help me cope with the daily stresses of life. So how many meetings is the right amount of meetings? That's up to you. It can be two or three, or it can be three or four each day. That's up to you. But at the beginning, I would suggest go to lots of meetings, as many as you can, and you'll know how to maintain your sobriety as time moves on. You can talk to your sponsor, you can talk to other people in sobriety, see how they deal with the meeting thing. But the one thing I would recommend you not do, and that is stop going to meetings. I don't care if you don't like the people there, something happens, you got resentments on, you're getting lazy, ill health, whatever it may be, try and get off your duff and continue to participate in the group or the recovery meeting that you like. Continue to participate because that will help you more than anything, it really will. So I hope I helped answer the questions. It's as clear as mud probably, but stay connected, go to meetings. When life is bad, go to more meetings. When life is good, continue to go to meetings, but never stop going to your 12-step group or your support group that you found that helped you deal with your alcoholism. It's very, very important. You can, and you can help other people. You can, they always need volunteers and they always need people to share their strength, uh, their strengths, hopes, and uh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought, but spiritual, Oh geez, I lost my train of thought, but nevertheless, you know what I get, you know what I'm getting at. The strength, hope, and uh, oh, forget it, I give up on that part. I'm just tongue tied here, but so continue to go to meetings. Hi, my name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. Thanks a lot for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please leave a comment below. If you didn't, leave a comment below, but can you all do me one favor? Can you please subscribe to my channel? I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Stay connected. Never give up on your meetings. Never give up on yourself. Continue to move forward. Sobriety is not easy, but sobriety is definitely worth it. It's coming from me, where I came from. I never thought I'd ever have the life I have. And thanks to 12-step programs and a lot of support from a lot of people, I've come out of the woods and I feel pretty damn good about the life I have. So stay safe. Stay sober. God bless. Peace out. See you next week. Thanks a lot for stopping by.